In this video, we're going to look at MNBC and their hybrid hempcrete concrete product. This is where hempcrete has been cast upon a concrete wall for modular building. And let's go ahead and get started. Now, their wall system is called Neoshov. Small brief intro here. Interesting to note, this is where they're taking it into the scutching line, which is different than a hammer mill decortication machine. Now he's rolling down what we assume is mold release. <clears throat> now let me back up real quickly. and stop right here. Now what's going to be cast on the bottom is concrete. What he's setting on top and what's around the side are the forms for the hempcrete. An interesting point is going to be made here in just one second. Coulage de beton is just uh, concrete. Now, <clears throat> you can see that the rebar in the bottom is black. You can see the hooks that are coming up that are going to be set into the concrete, but will reach into the hempcrete are coated. They are definitely been, it's as hot dipped or a particular type of coating, so there's no alkali uh, reaction issue. Now this is much more visible in their other video, and I will provide a link to that video. And in that video, it goes over some of the same projects, although not in such detail, but does include one home that they've built and they've in, in communication with them they have a number of projects that they've done as we will see now here clearly the hempcrete wall is on the interior and is visible and that's the mold being peeled off Anybody that's in concrete has seen this happen. Now we know Concrete is somewhat vapor permeable and can be made less so and or more so. Now, what we're looking at here is almost a standard browning nozzle with the largest orifice and the air set at a particular setting. So you can put out the viscosity of the plaster must be at the right thickness, if you would, in order to get this. And there'll be a guy on the side who's using a Darby to smooth this out. Now, this can be done with a trowel, but in large projects, plaster, render guys, stucco guys, use a browning nozzle or something similar. And this is being using a Darby. Now this next project is obviously quite large, no problems. Now, interesting thing here. The gaps that need to be filled, they're using the 3CM, which is an amazing machine that's used by William Stanwick, Graham Durant, and others. They've changed their nozzle over time. This is heard is blown in the center dry, and there will be nozzles that 
spray the binder on the exterior. That is the herd blower. I can tell you I misjudged this herd blower. I thought it was a simple adaptation of a insulation blowing machine. It's actually quite different. They and Terrachamp have similar systems and there may be some issues with patents and that's the reason why uh, 3CM changed their original nozzle. I don't know that to be a fact. I do know that Terrachamp has an existing patent on WIPO, which is the International Patent Database. A boom. This little part is what makes it special, but we can talk about that later. Now this is their latest iteration of nozzle. And the herd blows from the inside and there are three nozzles where the binder blows out. And wets. Here obviously they're filling in the gaps in the modular structure. This one is an interesting example. I've read the reviews on the website uh, or on Google uh, reviews. I've spoken not to the owners, but to a night desk and to a cleaning lady. One knew this was done with hempcrete. One did not and noticed nothing different other than the fact it was comfortable. The same is true with the reviews on Google. There's only one person that mentions this was done with eco materials, quote unquote, and the rest just enjoy the building, which is really as it should be. It should just exist as a normal building with the benefits of this material that can absorb and re-release slowly the humidity, uh, and that's a hydrothermic property. And this entire unit is being cooled what appears to be by three mini splits or inverter systems. Now, if one were to go to France, this is near Lake Annecy in uh, the French, near the French Alps, near my mom's hometown. One super interesting thing has nothing to do with hempcrete. It's the building next to this building, as we'll see in just one second. And there we go. So here's the overview of the building next to it. Living roof, living roof, building underneath of it. So if someone's going there just to check out the hotel and how it feels and how it looks, if you're in France, check out the building next to it because it's kind of cool. Anyways, that is pretty much it. Enjoy. Enjoy.